Hey guys, in this video I'm going to go through three examples of how to use the chain rule to find the derivative of a square root function. Starting with part A, we've got y is equal to the square root of 5x plus 2. When you're asked to find the derivative using the chain rule, the best thing to do is to first write down the formula of the chain rule. And so this is dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx. Now, whenever you're deriving a square root function, the first thing you should do is rewrite the function in exponential form. And so y is equal to the square root of 5x plus 2 can be written as y is equal to 5x plus 2 raised to the power of a half. From here, what we do is let u equal whatever is inside the brackets. And so we let u equal 5x plus 2. Deriving this, we're going to get du dx. And so this is going to be 5. Then we need to express y as a function of u. And so since u is equal to 5x plus 2, we can write y is equal to u raised to the power of a half. And so dy du is going to be a half times u to the power of minus a half. Now that we have dy du and du dx, all we do is sub this into the chain rule formula to work out the derivative. And so dy dx is going to be dy du, which is a half times u raised to the power of minus a half times du dx, which is 5. Simplifying this, this is going to be 5 on 2 times u raised to the power of minus a half. And then from here, all we need to do is replace u back as a function of x. And so this is going to be 5 on 2 times 5x plus 2 raised to the power of minus a half. Now because the original function used the square root sign, meaning that it wasn't written in exponential form, it's common to write the final answer using the square root sign as well. And so this is equivalent to writing it as 5 over 2 times the square root of 5x plus 2. Part b, y is equal to the square root of 3x squared minus 4. And so we start by writing this in exponential form. And so this is going to be 3x squared minus 4 raised to the power of a half. We then let u equal what's inside the brackets. And so this is going to be 3x squared minus 4. Deriving this, du dx is going to be 6x. Then we write y in terms of u. And so y is going to be u raised to the power of a half. And so dy du is going to be a half times u to the power of minus a half. Now that we have dy du and du dx, we sub this into the chain rule formula to work out the derivative. And so dy dx is going to be dy du, which is a half times u to the power of minus a half times du dx, which is 6x. Simplifying this, the 2 and the 6 will cancel out and we're going to have a 3. And so this is going to be 3x times u to the power of minus a half and now we will place u as a function of x, and so this is going to be 3x times 3x squared minus 4 to the power of minus a half. And rewriting this so we have the square root sign, this is the same as 3x over the square root of 3x squared minus 4. Part c, y is equal to the square root of x squared minus 3x plus 2. Now before I answer this question, if you found this video useful so far, then click on the subscribe button so you can see more videos just like this, and also to support this channel to reach more students. Anyways, coming back to the question, we need to rewrite this function in exponential form. And so y is going to equal x squared minus 3x plus 2 raised to the power of a half. We then let u equal whatever is inside the brackets. And so we let u equal x squared minus 3x plus 2. And so deriving this, du dx is going to be 2x minus 3. We then need to write y in terms of u. And so y is going to equal u raised to the power of a half. And so dy du is going to be a half times u raised to the power of minus a half. From here, we sub in dy du and du dx into the formula and work out the derivative. And so dy dx is going to be dy du, which is 
a half times u to the power of minus a half times du dx, which is 2x minus 3. We can't simplify this any further, and so all we need to do now is replace u as a function of x. And so this is going to be a half times x squared minus 3x plus 2 raised to the power of minus a half times 2x minus 3. And finally, we can rewrite this so we can include the square root sign. And so this is equivalent to 2x minus 3 all over 2 times the square root of x squared minus 3x plus 2. And that's it for this video. Now, if you found it helpful, then click on the like button or comment below and let me know. And don't forget to subscribe. Good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video.